That was really fun. Uh, let me say a couple things, okay, before we, before we turn to the Word. Um, you might have been handed a, a little community recycle flyer when you came in. Uh, community Recycle Day, a friend of ours uh, came by and asked us to, to hand those out, so we want to honor that. Uh, it's good. It's good. It's a little community work there. So if you didn't get a flyer, uh, you can have mine after. Okay, it's right here. It's on November 19th. So throw away all your stuff, man. Lighten the load. You're moving on from here. You don't need the stuff, okay? Uh, it's staying when you're going. That's all I can tell you. Uh, I, I just wanted to mention Thanksgiving. If you know a family that, that is in need or will be in need in Thanksgiving, we'd appreciate knowing uh, that confidentially. We'll keep that confidential. Uh, we are going to uh, do a little different work this year on Thanksgiving, uh, but we do uh, have a plan to reach out to the families in need. So call the church office and, uh, and ask about that or give us a family's name. Right now, basically, if you call the church office number, um, you know, most of the time you'll either get myself or Pam. So uh, it's kind of like, like calling our house back when we used to have a house number. Uh, but to call the church office and we'll chat with you. Uh, I want to say one other thing uh, before we pray uh, one more time. Uh, I uh, kind of reintroduced to a, a small group of you uh, this week the idea of the core group of the church. Um, and I thought I'd go ahead and, and present it to you today just real briefly for time's sake. If you've ever heard of this term, the core group, you know, of the church, uh, hopefully it hasn't left a, a bad uh, taste or critical spirit in you. Uh, that's dangerous, those critical spirits. Um, you know, save yourself from that, that, that disease, that cancer. Um, uh, but the, the, the uh, core group is simply this. It's the group in the church that are willing to sacrificially serve Jesus Christ among this community. Uh, we don't expect everybody to, uh, to be, you know, to jump right in and, and start, you know, really giving up things in their lives in order to serve the Lord and, and be part of uh, the kingdom work that he's doing here. But there is an opportunity for you to pray. The Lord is is that me? Are you calling me to actually give of myself, to actually sacrifice something else in my life, to be part of the glory of Jesus Christ in this community, to be part of building what God is building here? Uh, and uh, that's all the core group is. So if you start to hear that around, you know, oh, all it means is, is people who are willing to actually give uh, of themselves in a sacrificial way, which means you say, I'm going to serve the Lord instead of something else uh, for whatever amount of time or, or effort or dollars or whatever it is. Um, we have about uh, 20 spots available in that core group. Uh, or more. So uh, you better call fast and say you want to be in that, okay? Because those 20 spots are going to fill up fast. Uh, also, I don't know how setup went today, Brian. It was set up pretty strong today. It was excellent, yeah? All right, all right. Uh, there's some changes in children's ministry right now. Uh, your kids are being well cared for and well loved, but uh, we are having to combine a couple of classrooms uh, in response to, um, you know, just the need for some of the volunteers to, uh, to take a break and, and be refreshed and hopefully be in here. Um, so, uh, so if, if the Lord's been convicting you uh, to help, uh, praise the Lord. If he hasn't been, consider the fact he might be now. Uh, listen, there's a whole bunch of George Paris family here. Uh, a, whole, a whole row. We have uh, committed to being part of George's care. 
uh, on a regular basis, a weekly basis, and there's another opportunity for you to be part of the core group of the church uh, by setting aside two to three hours of your day uh, and spending that with George Parra uh, in his daughter Nadia's home and, uh, and helping, like really helping, helping with his care. Uh, so you can call the church office and talk to me about that also. Um, if you're lucky, Margarita will be there and, and you'll be able to fellowship with her and Nadia and uh, the other family members who are there at the time. But we're trying to step in to give them a break, actually, uh, as we continue to love uh, and pour out our love on George and his family. Let's just pray for him and for them real quick. Heavenly Father, we just again thank you so much for George, Lord, for the significant eternal impact he has had here and is still having on our lives, the impact he's having uh, in Nadia's home each day as people go into the home, the impact he's had on his family, Lord, on those who love him, God. We thank you for his impact. We pray for your presence to just be tangible around him, Lord, that you would pour out your spirit upon him, that you would fill that house with your spirit, Lord, that, that you would minister to those who are so sacrificially serving you by serving George right now. Please, Lord, please pour out your grace and your mercy and your healing power onto the George and into that home. Strengthen the servants and make your presence known. We pray for your glory, Jesus, and in your name. Amen.